We have to talk to the youth themselves. We have to talk to the families. We have to talk to the community leaders. We have to get a better understanding of what are those risk factors? What are those protective factors? And how can we intervene and do it well? For Black youth, I think that there are different risk factors that are associated with their suicidal behavior than what we've known to be the case for other groups of youth. I do believe that discrimination, racism, stereotypes, unfortunately, play a role in in, in the suicidal thoughts and behaviors that we're seeing in Black youth. Um, and I think those cannot be denied and they need to actually be studied. Um, and they need to be studied and be given voice, so to speak. So doing that qualitative research to understand from the kid's perspective, how those experiences affect their mental health. It's very important. And I think we haven't done a good job at doing so, um, but we need to. Black youth um, actually are being served by a multitude of community organizations like Boys and Girls Clubs, Urban Leagues, after school programs, um, and other institutions like churches and synagogues and mosques and, and working with individuals that are community leaders in the community to actually do suicide prevention and to do it well. But also thinking about how can you bring those youth to the table? I'm um, so creating potentially a youth advisory board to actually discuss what are those prevention methods that we should be using in the field that are actually going to benefit those youth that need it.